This is a short video, but we're going to go over something pretty important, which is a transient term. I've written the following differential equation, dy dx plus y over x equals 1. And we have a two-part question. Part A, solve for the general solution. And part B, name any transient terms in the solution. So let's solve the equation first. We know that this is a linear equation, and our p of x, which is our function being multiplied by y, is equal to 1 over x. If we take the integral of this, so integral of 1 over x dx, this is equal to the natural logarithm of x. Now our integrating factor is equal to e to the natural logarithm of x, of the absolute value of x, e and ln cancel out, and what we get is the absolute value of x. Now let's refer back to our differential equation. We notice we have a y over x, which means that x cannot equal 0, or else our differential equation would be undefined. So we have two intervals that we can choose. We can choose either negative infinity to 0 or, or 0 to infinity. And for, for the sake of solving this, let's choose the latter, the latter interval because we will have only positive values of x which means that we can drop the absolute value sign and this just becomes x. So our integrating factor is x. We have x times y and the derivative with respect to x of this is equal to x times the right hand side of our differential equation which is just x. Now we integrate both sides with respect to x so integral dx and we get so xy is equal to 1 half times x squared plus c, we divide by x and we get 1 half x plus c over x. And we have solved for the general family of solutions uh, for our differential equation. Now the second part said, name any transient terms. So what is a transient term? So a transient term, uh, is simply a term that goes to infinity or goes to goes to zero rather as x goes to infinity. So as x goes to infinity, this term and and I can actually refer to this term as a mini function. So let's say g of x goes to zero, meaning as we increase our value of x that we plug into this, this term will eventually disappear. So if we look at our gen at our general uh, solution here, we notice that we sort of have two terms. We have the 1 half x, and this is added to the c over x. Now if we take the limit as x goes to infinity of the, of the first term, 1 half x, we notice that x, 1 half x, will increase indefinitely, so this will equal infinity. Now if we do the same thing to the other term, which is the limit as x goes to infinity, of, of c over x, then what this will equal is 0 because x will grow indefinitely in the denominator and the c will stay the same in the numerator and this will equal 0. The reason that this is important, and I will draw a very quick picture for us, is if, we, if, if I draw an x and a y axis and this is going to be the plot for which we will put our our solutions, our family of solutions, we will notice that as we increase our value of x, or as we move to the right on the x-axis, then the second term, the c over x, is going to eventually disappear and become infinitesimally small, which means that our family of solutions, regardless of what the c is, is going to approach at some point the function 1 half x, which, which looks like this. It's, it, it's going to be a 1 half slope, so it's going to look something like this. So as as our family of solutions, and honestly, I, I really don't even know what they look like. Um, I can imagine they would be above this because we would be adding terms. So let's assume that they look something like this. Um, so that's one of them, and then we will have another color. Orange might look something like this, and these are not perfect pictures by any means. Let's say we have one that is blue, might look something like this. But as they approach uh, or rather, as x increases towards infinity, 
all of our solutions, and we can see right here, they are going to look more and more like uh, one y look like y equals one half x, and that's because we have this last term, which is a transient term, which is disappearing. So. Um, Re recognizing that we have a transient term, we can immediately uh, gain a much better picture in our head of what these solutions to the, to the differential equations are doing, how they are acting as x approaches infinity. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Please feel free to check out the other videos on linear equations if you had any questions or concerns about the technique of an integrating factor. I'm going to be posting more videos about linear equations, um, some more techniques, some more difficult examples, and I will see you in the next video.